welcome back for more adventures in Costa Rica. For this adventure, we're at the Manuel Antonio National Park. But before we get there, we have to make a pit stop to see some crocodiles. The tour guide explained that at this bridge, the crocodiles like to gather around because they feel safe. And he says there's usually six to eight. <laughs> Well, not this time. We got one lonely crocodile this time. The tour guide said that the water level wasn't optimal, so they might have gone to a different location. But the park itself offered better opportunity to see wildlife, like this deer. The wildlife in the park must be very used to human activity because they never seem to run away or get scared. It was a little surprising to see these crabs because we're a fair distance away from the beach, so these ones live a little bit more upland. Every time I go to Costa Rica, I always want to film and see a sloth, and every time I can never get a clear visual. Here the tour guide explained that if you see a leaf bent over like that, that's because the bats bent it over so they could roost underneath. And here we have Central America's version of a raccoon. Again, it's amazing how close you can get to the animals and they don't seem to react, but of course, you should keep your distance and not bother them. And here's a good sized lizard. It looks like a little dinosaur. But as far as wildlife goes, the monkeys were the main attraction. And they wouldn't just come close to people. You had to be careful that they wouldn't steal your things when you weren't looking. But besides the animal life and the beautiful hike, the main attraction at this park is the beach. Some of the things that made this beach different from the last beach I visited is that except for one section, there's more smooth sandy areas. The other beach had pebbles and some shells to get to the beach. Another difference is that because of the geography of this beach, the swells were far more powerful and higher. And there's a nearby area that is known to be a surfing hotspot because of this. And as I explore the other side of the beach with the more rocky terrain, those stronger swells are going to become a factor. And it's here about where this rock outcrop is that the beach begins to change from smooth, soft sand to more of that shell and pebbles on the beach. In this shot, you can see these smaller rock outcrops in the water. Remember these because they will come back in a little bit later in this video. Crossing from this side of the beach to this smaller section was rather treacherous, especially barefooted. The rocks were either very slippery or they were kind of sharp and painful to walk on. But it was worth it because this smaller part of the beach is very interesting. Like this shot of this tree that's barely hanging out of the cliff. I'd imagine at some point it's going to fall off onto the beach and get swept out into the ocean. And I had some pretty good timing because I was able to get here just as this temporary river was forming. I'm not sure about the source of the water. On the other side of the tree line is another hidden beach. So it could be the ocean water coming up, pooling, and then coming out the other side. Or it could be fresh water. I'm not sure. Standing on the beach, the water looks fairly calm and easy to swim. But it's a little deceiving. For one thing, it's hard to swim because of how shallow it is. If I try to do a full stroke, I found my feet and knees and my hands and elbows hitting against the rocks. So I had to do more of a crawl than a swim. And because of that geography I was talking about and the shape of the beach, the waves and the swells were more powerful than uh, what I was expecting. So when I decided I would swim back to the other side rather than go over the rocks again, I thought it'd be easier and more fun. It was fun, but it was a little bit more than I was expecting as far as the current. So the reason why I pointed out those rock outcrops from earlier is that because I basically had to swim to them and take a break on them before I could continue on. 
I wouldn't say they were lifesavers because my life was never really in danger, but they were greatly appreciated. So after that little adventure on the rougher side of the beach, went back to the main part and spent the rest of my day there. So I hope you enjoyed that little adventure with me at Manuel Park, and I'll see you next time. Until then, take care.